Hey friends, welcome to GB Yoga Live. My name is Charlie and today we're going to work through a yin yang yoga sequence. All right, so with a yin yang sequence, we want to start just by firing up the body. So we're going to get started with some sun salutations. And so I highly recommend checking out some of our other videos if you're not too familiar with the sun salutation. Otherwise, let's just jump straight in. Top of the mat, guys. And so just coming forward, just taking the feet hip width apart. And we'll move through three rounds of sun salutation. So just making sure that the body is already warmed up before we jump in. We've got some great warm-up videos, so check those out and then meet me here. Inhaling. Exhale, palm center of the chest. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, coming down. Holding the breath out here, extending the right leg back, coming into lunge. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, down to the earth. Inhale, sliding forward, coming into cobra. Exhale. Pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, rising up, palms to touch. Exhale, palms come down, center of the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, folding down. Holding the breath out, stepping the left leg back, coming into the lunge position. Inhaling, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down to the earth. Inhale, opening the chest, drawing the shoulder blades back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot forward in between the palms into the lunge. Exhale, right foot comes forward, forward fold. Inhaling up. Exhale, palms come down, center of the chest. Inhale, raising the arms up overhead. Exhale, folding down. Holding the breath out, extending the right leg back, coming into lunge, opening the chest. Inhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down to the earth. Inhale, sliding forward. <clears throat> opening the chest. Inhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, left top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands come down, center of the chest. Inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Holding the breath out, stepping the left leg back, lunge position, opening the chest. Inhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down to the earth. Inhale, sliding forward into cobra, opening the chest. Exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping the left foot forward in between the palms, looking up. Exhale, right foot joins top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, hands come down, center of the chest. And we'll just do one more round, sun salutation, just really warming up the whole body. Inhale up. Exhale, coming down, bending at the hips, holding the breath out here and extending the right leg back, opening the chest. Inhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Exhale, knees, chest, chin down to the earth. Exhale, sliding forward, shoulder blades back and together. Exhale, knees, hips come up, sorry. Inhale, stepping the right foot forward in between the palms. Exhale, left foot joins top of the mat. Inhale, rising up, palms to the sky. Exhale, palms to chest. One more side. Inhaling up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Holding the breath out, stepping the left foot back, opening the chest. Inhale, downward facing dog. Dropping the knees down, chest and chin down to the earth. Inhale, sliding forward. Exhale, pushing back. Inhale, left foot comes forward, top of the mat. Inhale, right foot joins, forward fold, dropping the head and the neck. Inhale, rising up, palms to sky. Exhale, palms come down, center of the chest. Just opening up the hands here. Taking a breath, keeping the eyes closed, just feeling the warmth moving through the body and the energy. One more breath here, in Tadasana. And then we're gonna step the left leg back and come into our warrior one position. So arms are coming up, front knee is bent. I'm just extending the arms up, palms are facing one another, fingers spread wide. Just making sure that the shoulders are dropped down away from the ears. Pelvis can be slightly tucked and just dropping down making sure that the knee's not caving in. You can see the big toes. And then finding your breath here, warrior one. Again, just dropping the shoulders down. Shoulder blades drawing back and together. And just pressing firmly down into the feet here, into that front heel, back leg is, leg is strong and active. And taking a breath. And then exhale, dropping a little deeper. And just finding some strength in the legs here. I'm just noticing if you're starting to shake, just finding some ease in the effort. Just opening the chest. One more breath. And just dropping the hands down to the hips, pivoting that back foot down, coming into warrior two. So finding a breath here, arms come up and then dropping down, dropping into that front knee. Gazing out over the front middle finger, your dristy point, and finding your breath. Just a straight long line of energy coming up through that back leg. Inhaling here, and exhale, we're gonna drop a little deeper. Just finding some ease in the effort once again. Finding your breath, just finding some strength in the legs. One more breath here. Exhale, coming into reverse warrior. Stretching that right arm up and back. Staying low in the legs, not coming up. Finding the breath. Inhale, straightening that front leg, both arms coming out to the side. And then we're just gonna come forward and then drop down into Trikonasana. Gaze can be up to the top hand. Again, just finding strength in the legs here, feeling the stretch in the inner groin and the inner thighs. And just peeling that chest open. Just one more breath here. And then we're just gonna cartwheel that hand down to the earth. Both hands coming down to the mat. Pushing back into a downward dog here. Finding the breath, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, down to the earth. Inhale, sliding forward, opening the chest. Coming into cobra. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. And this time, stepping the left foot forward in between the palms. Coming up now into warrior one on the other side. So just bending into that back knee. Arms are extending up, palms facing one another, fingers spread wide. Just slightly tucking the tailbone and finding the breath here. Just making sure the shoulders are dropping down away from the ears. Shoulder blades back and together. Just finding some strength. 
Taking a deep breath. And then exhale, just coming into warrior two. So just pivoting the back foot in, taking the arms up, and then dropping into that front knee. Arms extending out, just gazing out over that front middle finger. Finding the breath here. And as you exhale, just coming a little deeper. Just gazing out over your dristy point, finding focus, finding strength in the feet, long line of energy up that back leg. One more breath. Exhale, reverse warrior. Taking that left arm up and back. Staying low in the legs, finding strength. And just breathing deeply here. And then inhale, coming back up, just straightening that front leg, extending the hand forward, and then coming down into Trikonasana, other side. Just gazing up at that top hand. And finding the breath here. Just opening the chest. Maybe just taking the top hand back a little bit, just opening the chest a little more. And just cartwheeling that top hand down. Coming onto the toes of the back foot. And just coming back, downward facing dog here. Taking a breath. And exhale, letting it all go. Inhale, this time taking the left knee to the left wrist and just kicking that right leg back. We're just gonna come up into upright swan here. So moving into the more yin part of our sequence. So just slowing down a little bit, coming up onto the fingertips here. You wanna make sure that you're not dropping down into this left hip. So just coming up, extending through the spine, just chin slightly coming up. And then as we exhale, we're going to slowly come down into sleeping swan or half pigeon. Maybe coming down onto the forearms. And just coming down onto the forehead. And just feeling that stretch in the hips. And so just starting to slow down a little here, slowing down the body, slowing down the movement. I'm just finding a couple of breaths here. I'm the sleeping swan. And then when you're ready, I'm just slowly starting to walk the hands back up, coming up, taking a breath here, extending through the spine, just lifting the chin, taking the palms down, just tucking the back toes, coming back into a downward facing dog just for a breath. And then we're going to take that right knee forward, just taking the knee to the right wrist, just extending that leg back. Just untucking the toes. Again, the leg, the front leg can be parallel to the mat or you can bring it into the groin. Just making sure that the hips are stacked and squared. And if there's a lot of space underneath this right hip, you can always chuck a blocker or bolster underneath. And just taking a breath here, an upright swan. Just extending the spine through to the crown of the head. And then as we exhale, slowly starting to melt yourself down. Just coming onto the forearms, seeing how that feels. And if you want to go a little bit deeper, just dropping the forehead down. It's really allowing the body to melt down into the mat. And just connecting to that sensation of stretching in the hips. Just noticing how both sides don't feel completely the same. 
and finding the breath. And then you can slowly start to walk yourself back up, one hand at a time. And this time we're just going to kick that back leg forward, extending the right leg forward. Just give the legs a little shake. And then we're slowly just going to come to lying on our backs. And so just letting the feet fall out here for a moment, just having the arms slightly away from the body. And then we're going to take the feet, take the soles of the feet down to the earth. And we're just going to lift the hips up and just take them a couple inches to the left, dropping them down. And then we're going to extend the feet out over to the right. So the right top corner of the mat, left foot can, left ankle can cross over the right. And then with the arms, we're going to extend them up and again, just taking them over to the right side of the room. And so the right hand can grab the left wrist, just pulling it over. And so this is called banana asana. So we're creating a banana shape with the body or the, the letter C. And you just want to try and keep both shoulder blades glued down here and both hips down on the mat. And so you should be feeling the stretch right from the feet, full side body stretch right up to the fingers. And so just resting here for a moment in banana asana, full side body stretch. And one more breath. And exhale, just releasing the bind of the wrists, just bringing the soles of the feet back to the earth. We're going to take the hips up. And this time we're going to shuffle them a few inches over to the left, just dropping them down. Again, just extending the legs to the left side of the room, taking the arms up overhead and over to the left. And so both hips are down on the mat, shoulders stay glued down, and arms just stretch up. Again, you can have the right ankle on top of the left. You can take a hold of the right wrist. And just really feel like you're creating a banana shape with the body. Full side body stretch, right from the fingers to the toes. Banana asana. I'm just really slowing down our practice now. Moving into the more yin side. And so in yin, we actually hold these poses for a lot longer anywhere from between like three and seven minutes. And so I do recommend pausing the videos and just letting these poses settle, just settle into them, allowing the body to open on its own. One more breath. And then we're just gonna release, taking the soles of the feet to the earth, taking the hips up, just coming back to center. And then just allowing the body to melt down into a Shavasana. Feet falling out, just palms facing up, shoulders away from ears, and chin slightly tucked. And again, I recommend staying in Shavasana for a minimum of 10 minutes, just allowing the effects of the poses to be felt. And just allowing the body to melt. If you enjoyed that video, please um, subscribe to our channel, notify or leave us some comments. Let us know what you think and enjoy your day and I'll see you on your mat soon. Namaste.